Nikki D, you were saying a little bit earlier that this is one of those weekends that you really got to pay attention to the forecast, right? Absolutely. And yeah. I'm so glad a lot of the football games were held last yes. night rather than tonight. Yeah, that was so just smart. That was such a smart mm -hmm. move to do because this weather is very tricky yeah. as far as how things are going to pan out. When you're dealing with a tropical system, it's not like a typical cold front or warm mm -hmm. front. I mean, Amy, we're talking about circulation within the system itself make it very easy for a spin up tornado to take place. Yeah. I'm not saying that to frighten anyone, but but we got to be aware so it, you can you can stay safe, right? Exactly. Yeah. And that's what we are here to do to keep you and your family safe, informed as well as connected. So let's take a look where Laura is right now. Currently a tropical depression. You can tell she's over in portions of Little Rock as we speak. Winds around the center really beginning to ramp up right now. Now she's beginning to take that easterly turn. And as I told you yesterday, it truly is all about the track. When we look at this, at the red line, that's indicating the center of Laura. But if you recall, Laura is big and broad, even as a tropical depression. So just because the line may not be right on top of you does not mean you are excluded from the gusty winds as well as the rain and the potential for severe weather. Laura tends to go just a little more down to the south, getting closer along the state line. We're talking about more widespread severe activity. If it scoots just a little bit more to our north, still dealing with wind and rain, but that severe threat will be significantly lower. Right now, the National Weather Service, the SPC, we're all looking at the same exact thing. It looks as if we will have strong to severe storms taking place. That's why we do have a two out of five in place for us as far as that severe risk is concerned. That's going to be for this afternoon overnight. Now tomorrow afternoon, a cold front's going to move in. So there's a good chance we'll see a few scattered thunderstorms. When it comes to our severe risk in the immediate time frame, the tornado threat is there and they're going to spin up quick and then they're going to move along their way. Wind threat obviously high because we are dealing with a tropical system. Winds are going to be pretty gusty as well as sustained lightning going to see quite a bit of cloud to ground lightning and flooding is also going to be a major issue for us right now. We're not picking up too much in the way of rainfall, just some light rain showers closer into hole and walled to start off the day with those temperatures in the mid to upper 70s. Now, if you look at the wind field right now, winds are coming in out of our south and it does feel tropical out there. The closer that system goes, the higher our sustained winds will be. It's like putting the winds on a cruise control, looking to be 15 to 25 miles per hour. Then you're going to have those gusts within there. Some gusts could get up to 40, even 50 miles per hour. But if Laura were to slide down to our south, we're talking about a higher sustained wind as well as a higher wind gust. Flooding obviously going to be an issue starting at noon today, going throughout the overnight hours. We will have that flash flood threat in place. And of course, it's coming in waves as what we've seen before, so don't necessarily take exact track as the gospel because with a tropical system, it's really hard to pinpoint that exact time frame that someone will have that wave come in. But what we do know is going to be occurring throughout the morning on the lighter side and then continuing to really ramp up this afternoon as well as overnight. That's why we do have a storm five weather alert this afternoon overnight into early tomorrow. Temperature wise, we're going to be hovering in those 60s and it's going to feel pretty thick out there. Then we head into your Sunday. Temperatures will be at 85 degrees. Some chance for some scattered activity in the afternoon hours next week. We'll be back after the break for more details.